ラスル TM <笑>ラスル TM? Get started here in just a minute. I remember to do the thing this time. <laughs> How do I have time to sleep? Well, between that, uh, work, and, uh, I'll put it to you this way. It's really helpful that I got a cure for an early, early Christmas present. Did I finish Shenwalker in my last stretch? Last stretch, I just got to the last zone. Um, I forgot to, I forgot to make sure that I wasn't going away and then I got kicked out of the server. I looked back and it was login queue of like 1900. So I said, fuck it. <laughs> Who on the card today? I didn't have time to make a, a fancy thing, but I can at least tell you we've got Alicia versus Ryza, Lorekeeper versus Bikini Elf, Arthas versus Har, Zidix versus Feet, and Z versus Mordessa. That's for the Elevation show. Then we've got the normal show after that. And I have no idea what's on the card for that one because it hasn't been booked yet. <laughs> so you have to bear with me for a minute while I either look and see what's booked or otherwise. Alright, well, you know what? I think it's been long enough here. So we're gonna get into it. Fuck. I see you over there, Galen. Oh, God. Fucking... I would have thought to myself, oh, hey, you know... Hush. <laughs> Hush. Oh, I was, I was tempted to. And with the login queues and the congestion and everything else, I kind of just said, nah. Either way, today we have a... Uh, apparently we have a message or something. Queen Silver will be on the microphone. So we'll see what she has to say. As it, as it should be known, she has technically taken over a chunk of the company. There was something worked out between her and Alicia after she took her victory in that match. Where Queen Silver gets a controlling stake in Arkan XT. 
So now she runs her own show called Elevation. Clearly not inspired by any actual wrestling shows. <clears throat> But it is what it is. And she got to redesign an entire arena set up just for her. Uh, hmm, that doesn't seem quite right. <laughs> yes, she thinks that she's getting love, but, uh, who knows? I think the crowd has been paid off in this case. <laughs> Oh, she's ticked off. What, am I not supposed to say that? Look, it's a PG show. It is a PG show. We're family friendly. Otherwise, I'd be saying something else. But I am damn pissed, okay? Everyone in that locker room knows why. I am the hardest working woman in this business. In this business. They're saying boons. There are some women on this roster who don't think that a girl like me can make it. They're trying to hold me down! But every raid comes to an end, and these women had better realize that their time is up. <laughs> She's being oppressed. <laughs> Queen Silver is being oppressed. <laughs> hmm. All the jealous people in my life, which are most of the people in my life. That's a that's accurate. Oh, I didn't get to read the rest of that. Why'd she go so fast? Now she's fucking with me. From here on out, things are changing. Today is the first day of my era. I'm the one who makes the rules and says what goes. Everyone is officially underneath me, and you're all going to recognize that because all of you are beneath me. I am Arc NXT. Oh, that one was on point. Yeah, I guess that's all we really needed to hear was that. She basically just said that she runs everything... Everyone else's reign is over, this is her time, and now this is her, well, mostly her company. They gave her her own show. Insert Palpatine. Oh fuck, I just got a mental image of Queen Silver doing the fucking, um... <laughs> Queen Silver doing the fucking, like, so it's treason then, and just flipping through the air. <sighs> and Alicia, first on the card here uh, against Ryza. After having lost her controlling stake in here, I guess Queen Silver thought, oh, the greatest thing I could possibly do is, is book her on the opener for my show. Oh, okay. Uh, she even got jobber entranced. Um. Oh. <laughs> hmm. And <laughs> Queen Silver, after do after talking all her smack, the person booked gets dumped on her face by Queen Silver. As she's back, as she's coming back down the ramp to rub it in on Alicia. I guess that's how it's gonna be. I guess that's how it's gonna be.
And Alicia, with the surprising strength that someone like her would have, just chucks Queen Silver across the ring. Oh, back up with too short, Frankensteiner. Uh, and as you can see, uh, it would appear that Queen Silver has stolen the backup ref, meaning that if Red Shoes gets injured today, we're in trouble. Alicia going up top. Misses the elbow. Also, the fact that this is technically Queen Silver's ref now is a little bit concerning, but, you know... On there. The knees, no. Back elbow. Huge <laughs> flying forward from Alicia. Misses. Backbreaker bow and arrow across the knee. A knee that may very well be loaded up with diamond plate or something. Whoa! Tilt the world slam from Alicia. Entirely more oof than you would expect. One corner into the other corner. Big clothesline drops her down. Frankensteiner, Alicia going up again. And lands right on her ass. Nobody hits these things. Here at Arkham XT, we don't understand what the idea of a spot is. Everybody is out to fuck over your spot no matter what you do. It's a gut Whoa, neck breaker. Combination from Alicia Bailey with a shining wizard to the side of the head. Alicia may be trying to, to regain that, uh, regain that loss, get that record clean. Hits her out, hooks the leg to no. her through the cycles of madness and it's still not enough to take down the queen. And uh, as you might expect, she's attacking the knee that deadly weapon of Queen Silver. Snap to play. Uh, can I uh, ask real quickly, is there like some weird stuttering going on in the stream, or is that just my preview? Oh, that pack stutter from Silver. And... Yeah, it's weird, because it's not saying I'm dropping any frames. And the loaded up knee connects with the side of Alicia's head. Very strange. I'm not really sure what to make of that or why it would be happening, but there it is. Oh, and again, Alicia immediately gets out. Right, 
not even entertaining the notion. Although Silver, <laughs> with a little strut, gets it going. And puts her right back in it. What in the hell? What is this triangle choke combination? That is... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> At least I have to attack the ass to get out of it. Oh! Massive! Oh, across the face! Alicia may not be getting up after that one. Two, no, no, just two. <laughs> the ref instant transmission backwards. <laughs> I thought for sure she was just about to turn around and deck the ref. Up for that double drop kick right to the chest. A double drop kick. Oh, flapjack onto the rope. Silver again trying to silence Alicia. Cranking on the face. Oh, but again, Alicia gets out quickly. Oh, the cycle of madness again! Spins her out! Hooks the leg! Oh, no! <laughs> Neither side wants to even think about backing down here. Not quite yet, a little early on that one. <laughs> a little too early to tell who's one. <laughs> Apparently the level's complete though. Leg, two. DK's happy about it. I slow down a little bit, chicken wings. Looks very much like she's about to like break the straps off the dress there. I would advise against it, like Silver said, this is a PG show. Allegedly. Strikes her in the head, although it looks like Silver's legs might actually be having some, like, some pain done to him. Getting some hurt on. Though she still slams Alicia in the side of the head, and she's not done! She's not done! Oh, Alicia wasn't able to get out of it this time. This is going to be all she wrote for her. <laughs> is the queen going to silence her competition? No, it looks like she let her out. Was she too... She is running on fumes now. Frankensteiner. Take to the gut cycles of madness again. Two, no! <laughs> Good grief! <laughs> Very first match, Alicia said, screw it, you book me first, I'm burning down the house. On the top, she hits the splash! <laughs> she hit a top rope maneuver! 
Silver's really not pleased. The wheelbarrow off the ground, face buster. Oh my god, Silver's pissed. Silver is so, so not happy about that. And yes, that reaction kind of spelled defeat for, for Alicia. She may have hit that top row move, but at what cost? I'm noticing that, um, stuttering is very strange. Here is your winner, the Queen, Silva! Who possibly would even know Silly to win? I mean, it's very in character. Someone's not pleased. Silver versus Snippy win. <laughs> the two unstoppable behemoths, the mud crab and silver. Let me see something real quick. Just a little bit curious. Trying to see what might be causing that. I'm not 100% positive. Um... Huh. Oh, well. As long as it's not horribly bad, we'll just carry on. Like, if it becomes unwatchable, please let me know. Oh, okay, um... The following contest is scheduled for one... <laughs> 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 
deciding, no, you don't get to do an entrance either. Nobody gets entrances on Elevation. Nobody. Uh, fighting on the ramp here. Bell has not run officially. Lurkeeper still has her hat. Oh, that's wonderful. Lurkeeper still has her hat. All is as it should be. God is in his heaven. Lurkeeper trips and takes out the King Elf. That's also in character, I think. This is a single leg drop kick. The tilt a whirl. It's an inverted, or actually, tilt a straight up bulldog. The fighting on the ramp here. Unforgiving all metal all the way down. Every match is a dirty match in Silver's world. Well, it's beginning to seem like that, isn't it? <laughs> Bikini else says, all right, it's time to get the ring. Split screen, split screen camera here from our uh, former camera bots. Bell officially ringing, finally. Frog. Down to the kitchen sink. <laughs> Lord Keeper's real happy about it. Real happy about it. Oh, they made her take her hat off. Huge German souffle. And Bikini Elf. Overhands all day into the corner <laughs> with rubber bands out. <laughs> this guy's built different. Early cover here from Lorekeeper, not even a one. This is the leg. He'll kick right to the face. Walk slam. It's a leg. Again, not even a one. Corner goes goalkeeper. Again, uh, elevation here is a totally different show from the normal uh, Arc NXT. Does that mean I'm going to be doing two wrestles a week? You know what? If it if it uh, if it advances enough, sure. Also, if I don't waste too much time on Endwalker, I don't think I've ever. And again, just get away from the match here for a second, unfortunately, I, I apologize. I don't think I've ever spent this much time on the game, like, non-stop, day by day. I don't even think I did this for, like, Stormblood, and, uh... Oh! Boot to the side of the header to get hung up on the barricades! They're fighting on the outside, rough counting up the floor here. Yell Douglas comes from back in. Wrenches the arm over. Wait, what is she? Oh, swinging neck breaker to the floor. Oh, good luck with that one. Titania is like. Titania has this wonderful thing about her fight where people don't get eye level sync or can't, uh, or cannot, can come in with any eye level, so it can get real shitty real fast. Also the fact that it actually requires you to do mechanics, so people lose it. Any elf into the ring? Uh, not so early covered, one only though. I don't know 
exactly why these two have such an incredible beef, but, uh, ooh, <laughs> that Oh, goodness sake. Oh, and of course, speaking of 14. Oh, dumps her! With, was it the blue thunderbomb? Probably wrong. But just absolutely dumps her. Lore Keeper 2. And Lore Keeper takes it. After that surprise attack at the start. Again, I don't know where exactly the heat came from here. I had to guess it's because one's lore friendly and one is about as lore unfriendly as you could humanly possibly get. Lore's a bore. Well, we see where fan stands in this, uh, in this budding rivalry. And Lorekeeper there with that just absolutely shit-stacking powerbomb. Which may very well have, uh, concussed Bikini on. Here is your winner, Real pleased with yourself. Blind as a bat, yet still able to dump you on your on that stack of dimes you call a neck at any given opportunity. I'm a bongo, folks. Now here we have Arthas, member of the Enwa World Order. Though, very well could be a part of the Swit Pack if Nadine and G's horrible blood feud continues. I believe that was uh, Z with the war cry in the background. <laughs> Traditional Redoran war cry. Arthas Indurin. Not that Arthas. I am your sandwich. He is not our sandwich. That sand our sandwich is uh allegedly been working behind the concession stand in the kitchen. There has been some talk that she might be persuaded that are entering competition, but we kinda need those sandwiches. Listen, you would think I would have that clip here, right? I don't. Nor can I even, I can't even remember which, uh, oh god. Ah. Oh, man! From Green Bay, Wisconsin, weighing in at 265 pounds, Stone Yeah, speaking of sound clips. Traditional fire the sound man. Yes, actual entrances. No, uh, no surprise attacks. No dumpstering your actual booked opponent. None, none of that. No. This is just two doozly dudes about to slug it out. Yeah, the guys are killed about it. The ladies want to kill each other. Yeah. 
Part of the early advantage here. Big right hand. Down the shoulder block. And a off the ground belly back. Casually sidesteps the knee. Like I said, these, these are uh, doodly dudes just about to have a good old slug fest. Let's take the vertical base out from under. I don't know what name the ref has here, but that man has slick moves. I don't know if he's so reliable in actually counting pins, but boy howdy does he move quick. Ropes goes hard. Goes for the lariat. Ducks it. Dumped outside. You know, I bet you why my OBS is having lag is literally because of Ed Walker. Because I've been playing it. That I've had that running on my computer forever. In the corner. Again, goes for shoulder block or Lariat. No dice. Kick to the gut. Hooks him up. Oh, the spin out power bomb. Oh, here comes Star! Oh no! <laughs> Even Aqua thought it was time, but no, no, the stutter does not secure victory here against Arthas. Yeah, this is fitting for the stunner not working. <laughs> oh, rolls him up. Legs are in a pretzel bending on the back. That knee right lower back with Har. Fights out, pushes him off. Sugar Cube, that's kind of cool. Again, going back with a slugfest. Rather than kick to the gut, disrespectful. DDT there with the hammer lock and everything. What do they call that? End of days? Two, but not the end of the match. And Arthur's going back to the neck. Everybody's got a weird, like, berserker tear their head off thing going on here. With the knee lift. Gets the move from the gut, the elbow. Har had more than enough. To the gut, hooks him up, soup play, power bomb. It's the leg, two, no. Well, he's sizing him up for the second one. Starter! That's gotta be it. Har is gonna win. One, two, three.
and Har does indeed take it, and he is not happy about Arthas kicking out of that first stunner. Hang on, I don't have I don't have it. I don't have the command, but yes. <laughs> Wait, no, hold on. Yes. <laughs> yes. Indescribable. <laughs> oh, indescribable is somebody kicking out of a stunner. Har is very upset about it. Had to bring in a second one, and he made it work for him. Uh, I mean, I know it's some kind of it's a Skyrim fan song. It may very well just be called Drink and Meat and <laughs> Onward Me by Miracle of Sound. <laughs> well, there you go. I figured Har would know. After the long, hard days, like, literally all I know about it is, all I know for it is, like, it's Har's music. Our are tired and thirsty and our bodies drenched in gore. But we won't waste our evenings feeling tired and feeling spent. All right. Oh, we've got Zidix. Versus feet. Both of these women with a PhD in feet. I don't know what that means for feet, but they got feet. No, I don't think feet are hot. Feet's kind of nice, but no, no. Good morning, motherfucker! Yeah! Yay! Good morning! Ohayou gozaimasu! <laughs> Imagine. Making her way to the ring from the Queen City, one half of the undisputed pro wrestling champions, the Rebel Z Dickey. The next still one half of the Battle Sisters champions. Again, now this being Silver Show, she may very well just never be booked to lose it. <laughs> Thank you, Galen. Look, even her tag says feet, not feet. It, it's not feet. I swear to God, I'm not talking about feet. But I am talking about feet. God, I hope she doesn't have a whole lot of kicking moves in her, in her roster because I'll be, I, this is going to get real weird. We're gonna get weird. It's gonna get weird. <laughs> Real and eternal legend right there.
kick to the back. Feet get back up. What? <laughs> I don't know if all that was necessary for an arm drag. Zenix takes her down one way or the other. The leg. Puts all the weight on the knee. Feet popping up, putting her feet on either side. Is it head taking her over with the scissors? Back elbow on the ropes now. Okay, punch to the gut. Like sweep. Unfortunately, punching Zedek in the gut is probably the least, uh, least impactful thing you can do. He's got abs of steel right there. The elbow drop. We're going for a second. It's with the quickness, half and half. Corner goes for the big flying forearm, no dice. Slams the knee into the face, tries to capitalize, but Zidic falls over too fast. This is the knee after rebounding off the ropes. This is the arm. Big atomic drop. That's real painful. Punch to the gut. It's a really gut buster. It's like I said it, and now Feet's like, no, 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 I'm gonna prove you wrong. I'm going to defeat her by focusing solely on the abdominal. Got the headlock here. Blow it on down. Shoulder. I thought she was gonna get out of it, but no. And not even a one. On the back, up on the shoulders. Spin out of the torture rack position. One. Two. I gotta say, Feet uh, did not have the greatest entrance into our NXT, but uh, after the Imperial Rumble, where she just annihilated people and then she gets annihilated by that loop and palm strike. Two. No, no, no. Feet. Okay, as I was saying, Feet very impressive, very, very durable, very strong. I don't know if she could survive the Hammer of Sendar, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> Hit to the head. Yes, very impressive. <laughs> Shut up. Possible to tell what I'm talking about. Two. No, the hammer of Stemdar does not do it. That's two finishers now that uh I got gotcha. you. See, I may be technically really stupid, but at least I still have the sound clip. See, that one I don't, but I can improvise. I can... We'll go some looping pop strike this time. Feet with the wherewithal catches it. Oh, brings her back. Chokes. No, in the ropes. That's about to get real interesting. Remember, PG show. Oh, she just does it again in, in the corner, wrenching back feet wrapped around the abdominal. Can Zenix break out of this? Apparently she put up just enough fight. Um, Zenix, uh, going up top, feet in the fatality position. Whoa! <laughs> Dragon Rana off the top, hooks the leg, shoulders down, no. This is 
Zoom Trump is just coming in strong. Pop. This is going to be from downtown, more or less. Oh, Colin, feet up to her feet. And massive knee strike from up top. Zinix is two for two on high risk, I think. The shoot in, though. Dice dumps her outside with the cold hog. Sorry, this character's rolling. As you can see on the uh, the plot there on the barricade, which uh, Linux is getting currently carried over to and dumped on top of. We have the crescent moon for uh, Queen Crescentia herself, Queen Silver. Ooh, take it over onto the stairs. Pete and Zidix very, very evenly matched. Stendor, not quite, uh, not quite there. <laughs> we missed the, we blew the spot. Slow it down. <laughs> Nobody noticed. Nobody noticed. <laughs> we had that one. And I can't hear that one. That was great timing! Zix! Knocking feet out with the educated feet! Zix! With the most terrifying war scream I have ever heard! Just annihilates feet! Zenix, a true enemy of feet. Here is your winner, the rebel. Oh no, the camera! Dicky. It might, it might have, it might have. <laughs> it may be familiar to you if you played Mass Effect 3. Please stop cutting to the camera in the void. Yeah, all right, Zenix with a very, very convincing victory on elevation over feet. Now we have a Dunmer versus Kajita, tale as old as time. We've got Z taking on Mordessa, I believe current waifu's champion. Uh, one hell of a tough nut to crack. But Z herself has shown to be extraordinarily tough as well, so 
we'll see if uh, that amounts to anything. We'll see if that um, if this battle of indomitable wills happens to uh, favor either side. Uh, okay, Z gets the jobber entrance. No! Not again! How did Nadine even take out Ward? What did you do? What did you do? Nadine's very, very upset at her constant losses to Z. And they are just wailing away on each other. Nadine is just full blown piss. I don't understand. I love you, Kitchen Gun! I do love you, Kitchen Gun! Leap Frog, drop down! Scrub the back elbow, that happens a lot. Up with the shoulders. I don't know if that qualifies. I don't think any of you in here are degenerates. I don't have enough people in here from the Airy Beast rooms to really use that one to its full effectiveness. Oh, was that two? I am. I'm slugging it out on the outside. These two have had a series of contests in this what I would just, I would genuinely just call this, like, just straight up bloody feud territory. What? <laughs> what? No contest? What happened? We come back, maybe he's doing a spin Rudy. What? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I guess the ref didn't want to deal with it. That was our main event for Elevation. Silver's not going to be real happy about that one. Uh, moving on. <laughs> hmm. I don't know, I don't really know what to, uh, what to say about that one, because that was very strange. Yeah, yeah, ne next show. Get out of my head, Todd. <laughs> so it's such a cool disco move. The match got both for her dance off. And Z just said, screw it. <laughs> That's not what I'm here for. Oh, grief. All right. Please wait as I book this entire show. Why is it... It has decided that booking things twice is a great idea. I do love the power glow. It is so bad. Oh, grief. Every time I think this game, like the, the 2K wrestling games can, uh, can't get any more wacky, they do. And it's never by design. It's never by design.
We had that one. Susanna's very happy. It's a chaos emerald. It's a chaos emerald. We're gonna book. You and you. Versus. Tell you, when I get some time, I need to make more wrestlers. I have some more uh, on the list, so I gotta get them made. Oh, there's another one. You suck. Yeah, I do. Thank you. Every now and again, I need that affirmation. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna do this. Okay. You again. You know what's really funny about that? I have Yuka highlighted right now. So, you know, I guess that's a sign. You know, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. This, I'm blocking this for. Why don't y'all just see me? Why don't you just see me do this thing, huh? Let's do obligatory ladder match. We're gonna put this one with. Problem with this is always in the deciding. It's so hard to decide who goes in. I'm gonna have this one be Vlad. Vlad, Henry, and let's see, one more. Anybody else who's... How many other suave-ish long black hair? You know what? No, he's got, he's got long black hair where it counts. We're putting Nero in. The mustache qualifies. And I like that one, so we're going to stick with that.
And that is what we'll be looking at. So first off, we have Gargoyle Gals on the proper Arc NXT. The good one, owned by Alicia. Not the one run by a megalomaniac queen who had to come out at the start and talk about how great she is. We got Gargoyle Gals taking on man o -mer. Gargoyle Gals showing every time that they've shown up being extremely powerful. Just lots and lots and lots of raw strength there, which is not really surprising. Megalomaniac psycho bitch. Yeah, no, that's silver. Ah, uh, but we love her, you know, we, we love her. I think my favorite part about this entrance is since Stone Spirit's a little bit darker. On that side, the glow highlights her, but Ash and Soul just the Ash White comes right through. On the way to the ring. Well, that title part is perfectly. Soul Man and the Fireman Stone Spy. I am so sister. sad they can't use those hammers like normally. Intimidating stare, but I don't think intimidation works on their opponents. And their opponent, at a combined weight of 680 pounds, Freakzilla and Austin, and the Russian Gladiator, Aiden A. Rommel. The best tag team to never win a tag title is what Nutty would say. Uh, but no, yeah, they, they have come close to gold many, many times. Many times. And every time, well, I mean, our, I mean, Alec got their name. I think I love that. Okay. Uh, 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 but uh, every time something happens, something happens and they lose. Starting off, Faust, Ash and Soul. Ash and Soul, quick backbreaker early on. Drops the leg on the back of the elbow. I feel like this is fitting. Red shoes in the ring. But it's still the Arc NXT Elevation Ring, so therefore, I guess Silver booked it up for bold. But hey, Red Shoes! You know, that's pretty accurate, all things considered. Aelin getting tagged in. And Action Soul, monkey flip off, out of the corner, completely denies the offense.
forget what I said about the better show. We're still on elevation for today because it's the elevation edition. I guess all the slots are booked up. The megalomaniac psycho bitch decided that she needs the whole day for herself. Oh no, I said that at a really bad time. Like I said, we love some. We love, we love. We, we do, we do. Look at the little moon on the, on the side there, you know? We love them. Yeah, B, you missed uh, you missed her coming out at the very beginning, and at first talking about how much love she gets for the uh, for the crowd, and then immediately talking about how it's her era, it's her reign. She's pissed because she's never gotten recognition before, apparently. The uh, the auto auto generated dialogue was weak at first, and then it got real in character. Faust, House of Fire on Stone Spear and left the Atto at the Lariato. Big knee strike. And Faust with the strength to lift all that stone. Dumps her down. Very happy. Finally <laughs> taking yes, he is. Like I said, in, no mo in normal circumstances, we've got, we're going to have the two shows. We're going to have Elevation, which is Silvers, and then we're going to. Oh no, this is what beat Buff Scale. Well, we're going to have Elevation, which is Silver's show, and then the normal Arc NXT. Make it a snappy name. I don't really know. Names are hard. Uh, which Alicia runs. And we will have Brand Conflict. It should be. She should have gone right through. Off the rope. Drop toe. Elbow drop. The classic of all. Just gets me out. Floor gets up, shoulder block. Drops one of his lethal knees. Into the gut. Ooh, a DDT. Hooks the leg even. I don't know who Faust is yelling at. Oh! Dragon Slayer locked in that reversed Dragon Sleeper. And Stone Spirit has been slain by Manomer. Manomer taking the victory over Gargoyle Gals here. And again, moving up in ranking to winning that gold. Taking the Brothers in Arms Championships and getting a shot at Cat and Sat Connection. I don't think he knows either. <laughs> to be fair, uh, that is stiff competition for Gargoyle Gals. Also, I think that's the first time the Dragon Slayer has ever actually worked. Our goal is now team leaving the arena, Two cursing in German. Incline to show mercy this one time because they're because they too believe <laughs> that Manover deserve another tag title shot. Oh goodness. Alright, moving on to the next bout. Thank you, Aqua. Good timing this time. And the match here that was determined entirely by a 
sound clip firing off. I think this happened last time too, but she was, uh, she was in a, um, in the Juggalo outfit. I don't think she is this time. The cool head spin. That is true. You did miss that. All right, getting into it here. Hello, Aiden. How's it going? Too much cheating. Yes, it is. Wayne Cage is always cool. Lucia, ready and raring to go. And Yuka on her way out in with the depth of field cranked way up. And her opponent, yes, welcome to a very cringy OC rap. We, we have a good time here. We have fun. Every one of these characters, we accept for Lucia. And Mary. Maybe at least a couple others. We're made in Elder Scroll games. Mostly Skyrim. There are some exceptions. We have a good time here at Arcane Exchange. Blue corner ready to go. Red shoes ringing the bell immediately with the flying forearm. And stomping on her ears. <laughs> Lucia, not at all happy about that, dumps her outside. Mashes her head off the apron. Cat fights usually get very violent, I notice. Chop the spawn the forearm, kick to the gut. Back in the ring. I miss I kind of miss the days sometimes where they would decide to run an entire lap around the ring before getting back in. Snap souffle. Lucia, absolutely house of fire right now. <laughs> but only a one, and Yuga immediately back up to her feet. Again with the forearm. Single leg camel clutch applied. Lucia have been uh, seen doing a little bit more uh, solo competition recently. 
Walkers in the end uh, doing uh, their job, certainly, but uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. I was just trying to think, like, how uh, how a silver design ring would go, and I, I feel like I got it right, or at least as close as possible. I, given the tools I could use, anyway. Take over arm drag. Northern Light Suplex, the best kind of suplex. I will fight anyone who disagrees. Lucia unable to believe it, rings the arm, breaks the arm, and then a big backdrop to finish the combination. Only two on Yuka. And the punch of the operation has been, yeah. Looks at the leg. I don't think there's a figure four. What is this called? Indian de Indian lock, isn't it? Indian death lock. Whoa! Quick, quick cutter from Yuka. Get to the gut. Gut wrench. Spinning Samoan drop. And Yuka. Takes it just like that with that. Some, well, actually, that's a small and drop. What, is, what would that be? Gut wrench. It's like a gut wrench Olympic. Flam. Oh no! Oh no! Wrench! No! Why? What did I just say earlier? I said, oh yeah, no, Silver's chosen ref, which is on the first half. Oh no, he'll be fine. That man's like rubber, he can get out of anything. And no, as soon as, like, he's got the backup for, for red shoes when he inevitably gets hit, and look at that, he got hit. Every time. Lucy is pissed. <laughs> And now here we have our triple threat ladder match between three raven-haired individuals. All their hair long. All their appearances wildly different. <laughs> you might say, well, Nero's hair isn't long. Well, uh, he's got it where it counts. On his face. Now, the eternal question, what is in the briefcase that they are fighting over? It's one of these fancy creation magic deals where uh, if you dis where whatever you say happens to be in it. Look at that mustache, let's listen. Necromantic flu. Well, look, look. In that case, then Nero's actually going to want to go for it. I don't know about Vlad, but Nero sure is. Well, Henry and Nero have a stake in this one already. With the case full of fluid. Making his way to the ring. From the middle, <laughs> weighing cream. in at 180 pounds, the monster, Vader Murray. Vlad 
here. Not Dracula, it's, you know, Vlad, leader of Team Molag Ball. Routinely known for both phasing out of the wall and stepping all over the audience. Oh, he is swamped. Face is a little sunk, but he's swamped. He, oh, very swamped. Oh, Henry! Teleporting into existence! Man's got magic talents. And he's so happy to have his hair back. He's, he's displaying it proudly. And his opponents. First, from Munich, Germany, weighing in at 237 pounds. I really had to remember to change that, pounds, that handle. Pretty boy, Henry. Our hard Noel baby. <laughs> He, his face in this reminds me a little bit of Xenos. I think it's mostly the, like, almost total disinterest. And here we, ha here we have last member of the Raven-Haired Ladder Match for the Fluid, Nero. Mr. Hero wins himself. And from Naples, Italy, weighing Wah. in at 150 pounds, Sugarfoot Negrin. Will Nero pick up a win today. And if he does, will we consider it to be important because it's not against crabs. I don't think it's important, though. I like Nero. His mustache looks extra muscular today. <laughs> Look, he's even got a squat regimen. Nero's ready, okay? Nero's ready. He's ready for a win. He's ready for that hot win streak that he's been denied for so long. Listen. He's still squatting. He's still flexing. He's still determined. Whatever it takes, baby. Whatever it takes. Our man is yoked. Stacked. Built. Incredible. Driven. Lays out both Vlad and Henry with the ladder and immediately goes for the case of the necromancer fluid. Completely driven and just objective focused. <laughs> Henry had to get the one stomp in. A butt stomp at that, yes. And speaking of ass offense, Nero dumping Henry on his. This is a belly to belly up on the shoulders. Vlad fights out. Stomping a blood hole at him. Nasty as that sounds. Vlad up top. Hands on the case of fluid. Or dumps the ladder out. Electric chair drop. The spinning heel kick, no dice. On the shoulders again. Guillotined. Looks like his foot got caught in the ladder. 
Off the ropes. Just for the flag, knee strike, no dice. Forearm to the back of the head. The one problem I see with Nero, more than anything, is that where he could win, he focuses it all back into just trying to prove a point and just really maul his opponent. And then he gets too enthusiastic and he like loses all signs and tactics. Wrestling is like a chess match. By that I mean only dweebs like it. <laughs> he was like that before the Royce. <laughs> he would always constantly like run and screaming and then die. <laughs> Oh, but you know he on that Jamba Juice. Henry dropped by the ladder. Vlad picks it up and drops it. Says you might hurt yourself. The Moen drops nice and easy. Big elbow to the small of the back. I just realized I haven't had any tunes. We can do some tunes. Vlad doing a little uh, ballroom dancing with the ladder. Up top quick. Nero racing up the ladder as well. Casting fist, big chop, misses him. Dumps flat off the ladder. Nero going for that necro fluid. Henry rolling back in, taking a moment to talk about how cool he is, and the butt stop again. <laughs> Henry's really got to make sure he proves that point every time. Oh, big chops! Big chops! Big chops! Dumps Henry on top of Vlad. Nero. Nero going for the case! He's gonna get the fluid! He's gonna get that Jamba Juice! <laughs> Nero got the Jamba Juice! Nero got the Jamba Juice! Nero got the Jamba Juice to fight the crabs! He did it! Nero with the victory! Nero with the victory! Henry on the floor, like, could I, could I? Here is your winner, Sugarfoot! Nero, look at how happy he is! Look at how happy he is to have that case! He's so pleased with himself, as he should be. He's got the juice, and the juice will be loosed on the crabs in due time. Him and Pell will share in this bounty. Oh, and um, Suzette has words, and I hope she takes all the time in the world getting to the arena. I really do. Back to, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this is another one that just booked automatically. I don't generally ever book these directly, except for the Queen Silver one. But now, we get to see what... Oh no, she came out without a sweater! And she hates everyone! How can I cage now?! <laughs> Don't worry, we'll fill you in. I'd love to know who she was pointing at. Also, honestly... Suzette came out cute in this thing. How about some love, Arcade XT Universe? Just what I expected from a bunch of idiotic losers! 
She's firing off real hard. <laughs> she she also recognizes that it's a PG show. <laughs> and she's really mad, and she's also the hardest worker. Queen Silver said this is verbatim. <laughs> She doesn't care who, who is the best woman around here. She's ready to show them that nobody around is better than her. She'll take on every single one of them if that's what it takes. <laughs> and she's out there going like... Ugh. There's a little tentacle mouth behind her going... Nye, 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 nye. <laughs> shut the hell up. You think I care about you people? I don't. You don't sign my paycheck. You haven't done a damn thing for me. So shut up, sit back, and pay tribute. Yes, pay tribute. <laughs> She's going a little all over the place here. <laughs> the crowd loves it. You can't stop greatness from happening. You can always sit around and watch it occur in front of your eyes. I am standing on the precipice of becoming the greatest woman in all NXT history, and you will all bear witness to it as it becomes a reality, whether you like it or not. That's a little ominous. Papa Gordon stepped his pay up. The crowd is even saying we're not worthy. The crowd's full of censors, full of masochists. I don't know which one. Oh, and then that one guy boos her on the way out. Sue's <laughs> cult, Sue's cult. I guess the difference is that sips are like financial masochists. <laughs> Alright, we've got cat versus cat again. We've got Joe versus Brimcon. No holds barred. Yeah, this was an auto-booked one, but I really, really liked it. Joe has, like, swiftly become one of my absolute favorites to watch. And Brim has always been amazing. <laughs> I'd love to know why Suzette came out to talk about that. Or just to talk. Wait, yeah, she did. She did. She just did. She did just come out to say, give me money. <laughs> All right. Well, you survive out there, B. Have some kind of fun. Thank you for checking in. I know some of you are into Finda, but I'm going to take advantage of it. Okay, they both get jobber entrances. Rabu 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 you guys do. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. The good old fashioned camel clutch applied by Joe. Grim sneaks out of it. He's been around the block, he knows about it. He knows about time hits. In, rolling the arm, rolling the shoulder. I'm popping out of the socket. Grim going up top. Will he be the next one to actually hit something? Yes! Boy, we've got a lot of high risk moves connecting tonight, actually. Elbow to the small in the back from up top. Back elbow. Oh, Snapmare Driver! Rolls the arm again, Brimcon on all kinds of fire. It's the leg. You know, talking about it with Manomer was that proclivity of getting real close to a title shot and then one thing goes wrong and they lose it. Brim has been like that for the longest time. 
It's not that he hasn't been a champ ever, but every time he seems to get a title opportunity, at some point, something goes wrong, he chokes, or something happens, and it just all falls apart for him. He certainly puts in the work, though. Oh, DDT pops right back up, too. Go farm back with that knee wheel kick. Yo, finally getting off it. Again, he's really, he's really attached to the camel clutch I'm noticing. He really, really wants to make Grim tap out. I don't know if this is some kind of weird Kajidi submission thing, but I don't want to know about it. Uh, brim over into the Fujo Cam section. So lands up against the barrier. For playing the Yes for that roll. Advantage. Two clicks. Grim calling on the power of the 12. You can do that. Oh! Dodges the, the uh, spinning wheel kick somehow. It does not dodge it the second time. Red shoes in position and we're rattled. And Joe taking it very quickly with that surprise heel kick. He senses something. Oh, chases! And chases! From behind here, again, these two, Chases, Shadows, and Joe, are set for the next proper showing of Arc NXT to have a contest for the Inter Tamrielic title. And with that very, very short main event, um, Boy, howdy. Uh, that has been a this has been a quick one after uh, elevation. Maybe maybe Silver Show really is the best. Or, well, after the proper elevation, maybe Silver Show really is better. Maybe maybe so. But she only got an hour and a half for time, and she's already run over by nine minutes. So everybody got told to go home. Um. Computer really wants that Joe Chase and Rivalry juice. I guess so, but it, it works for me. Well then. Uh, in that case... I think we've got room for a bonus match. I'm also curious to see what it wants to, uh... What it wants to book itself. Oh, well, that one makes sense now that we've seen it. I feel like that's going to be the blow-off. Clara and Feet, Preston Bikini Elf, Lenore and Kata. Well, some of those are good. Let's see about the news.
Chase's shadows attack Josian from behind after leaving him open with a distraction. These actions just go to show how much contempt the attacker has for his title match opponent, viewing him merely as an obstacle that needs to be removed from the championship picture by force. <laughs> Suzette made an appearance in the ring to share her recent success with the crowd, promising the pile on more wins to her bigger- No, she just asked for money! <laughs> She showed up, said everybody sucked, everybody was an idiot, give me money. <laughs> so, uh... I do, uh... Give him a random extortion racket. If the rivalry between these two goes beyond the championship, they may just want to hurt each other now. Yeah, there's no championship involved there, they just want to hurt each other. All right, well, in that case, let's see. Bonus match time. I am thinking... Let's see here. I wish, you could, I wish you could do the big backstage brawls now, but we're gonna do... Uh, we're gonna bring out the fan, as we do. We're gonna have the fan. Let's see who... No, fan and guardly in a backstage altercation. Ah, uh, who knows why? But uh, it's all breaking loose tonight, though. Fan's head is really, really big. I'm noticing already, and then once it gets to the big head mode, it's just enormous. <laughs> <laughs> Carly didn't like that. He's 90% air. <laughs> Fan with those ham bones coming out. I can't see squat. All I see is this glorious stack of hair and his mullet. He's like a cheese jellyfish. Oh, I'm gonna have to work this bonus match into the actual full show recording just because that would work way faster than I expected. <laughs> it's watching a man fight a big old squid. Gardley is getting absolutely thrashed by the adoring fan. <laughs> My favorite one with the fan though had to be the opening match with Palino where Chris Jericho, of all people, interfered, and he was so upset by it that he just gave up and left. <laughs> Look at the confident expression on Fan. He is, he is so ready to get flung into the wall. The shoulders. Oh, spin out cutter onto the concrete floor. Hardly turn it around. Boss man slam immediately. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Boss man slam takes out the Wii fan with his gigantic head. Well, with that, I think that is as short as it was. It wasn't a very long one today. That will be the wrestle for today. Don't worry, though. Friday is still wrestle. So you get a double dose this week. A double dose, you know. And surely, surely, 
I did not engineer this to uh to be shorter for any particular reason. You know. Surely. Damn. Surely. No, no, yeah, it couldn't be anything. Couldn't, couldn't be, couldn't be any reason at all. I'll see y'all guys later. <laughs> but first, look at how pretty this title screen is. Oh yeah, I gotta get in the queue. Let, let's see real quick how bad it is before I raid on someone. Let's see. Let's see how bad this uh, this queue is. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's pretty bad. <laughs> All right. Let's see who's who is uh, available and online right now. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Um, I have somebody on my list playing the Incredibles game. I'm going to send you to them because that might be, that, that sounds like that's a great time. All right. Well, again, thank you all so much for coming out watching Rassel. I'm sorry I delayed it so much, but Endwalker is what it is. It's really good. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the game so much for once in a long time. Oh, but you guys have fun with the rest of your day. Please enjoy the surely high-quality Incredibles video game and say hello to Blumbles for me. He's a good fella. I will, I will sleep. Don't worry. I won't go 18 hours in a row again. I promise. Now I gotta get in queue. See ya.